Hello everybody, this is Perky. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Hot Wheels Diora 2. I believe from 2000. Now, I have the normal Hot Wheels library colors on here and everything, so... Yeah. Got some Japanese writing there on the front. And, uh... Here on the side, I believe that says... Competition something. I can't read the top, it's a little bit blurrier than the bottom, but we got Hot Wheels here. And we've got Vosine Wheels here on the side. And we got some surfboards here in the back. We're going to open it up. Looks like it's kind of like a storage area. Some really small storage area. Uh. Actually, that's actually pretty spacious. You just can't really put really bulky things in there. All right, we're going to implode. Which is this? Oh wow, it's like a BMW bubble car, but it opens from the top. Why didn't BMW do that? They just open it like a big refrigerator door on a BMW bubble car. Oh, huh. cool though. All right, we'll go ahead and get into the driver's seat because the passenger seat only has a fire extinguisher. It looks like. Uh, but here in the driver's seat, you got a cool surfboard um, gas pedal. And I believe a Hot Wheels logo there is the brake. And you got volumes up and down. For the ready. What? Let me close this. Oh, yeah, there is a radio. Okay, it's a screen. Uh, so you got air vents as well. A really nice big horn pushing area there to push the horn if need be and you got cst uh res uh, cc whatever the heck this is set cruise control what this thing is cruise control um it looks like you got a nitrous button there on the steering wheel and or boost are you a cons? Alright, we'll go ahead and start up this thing. Okay, so it seems to be that the miles per hour there is in front of the steering wheel. And you got gas and you got fuel gauge I mean fuel gauge gas gauge where you will call it and I believe the RPMs are a little bit lower and you got First, second, and then you got drive, reverse, neutral, and park. I believe they're below the miles per hour. And then you've got the uh, oil temperature there on the far left. And you have a screen here that I would believe tell the Hot Wheels people in the uh, show of the missions and all that stuff. And or send the missions to your car or whatever. I never really watched Hot Wheels. I watched a little bit of it, but not much. Alright, let's go ahead and go outside and get a drive of this car. Now it's not going to be the... Excuse me, my mic is kind of crappy. <laughs> it's not going to be the best because this car is stock. But we'll see how it does. I never really liked this car and uh, the twin mill because they were a little bit longer and a little bit harder to control. A little bit bulkier. But it's pretty decent. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, as you can see there now you can see Park reverse control. Drive third second at first. Looks so like we got 147 there on the speedometer as we go across the camera. Steering. Pretty good. Pretty good steering. <laughs> to be a boat. <laughs> really just because I hit that one wow but yeah no um pretty decent steering pretty good acceleration too pretty stiff car but it will of course if you force it as usual it will fish tail but 
other than that, it's pretty decent. Like I said, it's in my own opinion, I never really liked these cars in like this and the twin wheel in the uh, actual Hot Wheels games because they were very lengthy and hard to control. But other than that, it's a decent car. I mean, it's got good acceleration, good handling. And, uh, yeah. I do a donut pretty good too. <laughs> Hope you um, enjoyed this quick little review of this car though. If you did, go on to enjoy it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.